as promised, this is the bonus part for those who wants to do the hop up uh, front end. Most of you don't even have the 50 caliber uh, foam balls, so don't worry, worry too much about it. Uh, this is for this purpose only. So that's just uh, install the rubber uh, rubber band as the hop up uh, for now. So it comes with a special angle, which is uh, has been uh, trial and errors, and this is the best angles uh, with the best result. Keep the ball floating without losing too much of uh, FPS. Um, so I just uh, did this. Right now I just remove it for you. And then I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay, so basically clean up all the support uh, exactly just like this. And you do have um, some uh, support here looking like this, which is super easy to clean off. You just um, push this in and just clean it off. So after you remove all the support uh, as usual, uh, because this is where we're gonna have the phone balls go through this. So just uh, make sure it's smooth, debrid, right? Uh, send it if you want, but uh, right now it's okay. Uh, so for this print, I kind of mess up with the front. So don't worry about it if you are buying physical models. This will not happen to the product that you are about to receive. Um, this is just for the tutorial purpose. And yeah, that's it. Okay, that's move on to the installation of the hop up. So I'm using a rubber band that you can see anywhere you can any, anywhere you can you can buy it from dollar store or even I don't know. Uh, these are these are the things that when you want it, uh, you don't have it. <laughs> when you don't want it, it's everywhere. But you know what I mean, you can get it from Walmart. Uh, I'm not sure you want to spend uh, a few bucks for a whole bag of uh, rubber band, but uh, you can get it. Okay. Or you can just wait until one day it occur to you. Yeah. I need this. Okay, so just put it in like this. Again, super easy. Don't worry too, too much about uh, the pressure, the how stretchy I have to like for doing that to make this thinner, to get in this groove. Yeah, you do have to stretch first and then put it in, right? While holding a hand here, the, the end here. So right now, that's good. But that's not good for hop up because you are going to move this a lot. Uh, this is a swappable, removable, right? And then the movement of this will actually, if it's already stretchy enough, then uh, it will shrink back, right? Then just you, your hop of uh, installation will be ruined, just that. So right now you can see it's more uh, tension there. Uh, easy. So first step, just install that, right? Make it like this. So short end, longer end, doesn't matter where, you're going to cut it off anyway. But right now, before you cut it, use this, put it in, and then just Loose, loose the stretchiness, the tension, just, just lose it. So right now it's more relaxed. The more relaxed, the better. Okay, so right now, and then couldn't hurt, just see if it goes anywhere, no, okay. Now, that's just cut it, okay. Just use the nipper, uh, cut it flush to the, to the surface here. See the angled surface, right? We just follow the surface, right? Just cut it flush. Uh, it's good that we will have a uh, good uh, nipper for this one. It was good, but right now it's got the... Uh, it has become uh, harder and harder to make a perfect cut, but it still do, okay? So now, that's... Before we put the super glue on, let's don't do this anymore, okay? So right now, it's in place. And then we're gonna use the super glue, very easy. Put a tad of a super glue on here, okay? You don't need a lot, just a tad. Uh, super glue works really, really uh, well on the rubber band, uh, meaning you don't have to put uh, apply a lot and it works. Okay, just quick pass of that. Just make sure you got some super glue into the gap, and then just wait for I don't know five minutes before you actually want to try it and use it. And that's it. That's just for the rubber uh, rubber band hop up. You know what? I already designed another hop up system, but it will be great for uh, over 100 FPS. I'm using two BBs. The trajectory of that is just good uh, because you got the two point of a BBs, right? Uh, it, it was act acting like a bearing. Uh, so when the foam balls go through that, uh, you got a minimized uh, friction. And then also because it's two point and plus the bottom of the barrel. So actually that's a three point support right before the last second that the foam balls left uh, the, the circle barrel. So the, the rotation, uh, the back spin is more even and balanced. Of course, depends on the quality of the foam balls, right? If the foam balls, you've got uh, uneven uh, weight uh, distribution, then it's gonna suck anyway. But if uh, it's a rather good foam balls, oh man, that works really well. And, and the range extends really far. I have a video showing that uh, a few months ago. 
But uh, for this low power elite standard stuff, don't worry about that Mac. I already have that in place. Uh, the FPS is just, you know, shitty. So um, for, for this one, this is the go-to option for low power under 80, 70. Anything more than 90 should be more suitable for uh, the other Mac that I already developed.